okay, I've seriously filmed this video like 45,000 times. I clearly need whatever coffee AJ is drinking because mom is tired. Mom is tired and it's just not coming out the way I want it to come out. Ugh. All right, so I think a lot of the reason why it's, this video just isn't happening for me is because everyone has said what I've wanted to say. That yes, you should talk to your cousin. You should definitely talk to your cousin because A, he's family. And did he screw up? He totally screwed up. You do not out someone else. You do not out family. You do not out gay people, bi people, queer people, trans anyone in the LGBTQ community, you just don't out them. And you especially don't out them if you yourself are part of the community. I mean, that is like gay 101, folks. Gay 101. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If you don't want to be outed to everyone and their mother, which is a fitting comment in this particular question, if you don't want to be outed to everyone, why would you out someone else, let alone family? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I can't get my mind around it. I don't know. It's just coming out, it, no matter who you come out to, is a bizarre series of events, right? You're, you're entrusting someone with you, with a part of you. And I know, because I felt this way, that it was my story to tell. This was my piece of me to tell people, not someone else's to give away, but it was mine. And if I gave it to you, you should feel privileged and you should feel honored that I was comfortable enough to share this with you. And, you know, respect me in that you're not going to go ahead and tell 45 people. But I don't know. I don't know what happens with people when you entrust them with something so big and such a large part of you then and they turn around and tell people. I don't know, coming out to someone and having them tell people, it's just, it's such a violation. And I feel if people knew how violated we felt when someone outed us to someone else, I, I almost think they would think twice before saying it, but uh, it's tough. I don't think it's ever justified. I don't think it's ever okay to out someone else. So no, I, I'm with the rest of the bunch when they say not cool, just not cool. But I do know that more often than not, it happens and you kind of have to go into it knowing that certain people like to gossip and certain people like to know that they have something that they could tell other people. And it's not, I mean, it's just not an easy process, but if it's something that you've been holding on to, like in this case, you know, if you've been holding on to this for seven years, that's a really, really long time. And frankly, it is just so much better to just get it, get it out, get it off your shoulders, speak to your cousin and confront him. And as Jess mentioned, confront him in an adult sort of manner, you know, confront him and just be like, hey, you know, I'm curious, what was going through your mind when you did this? Like, you too are part of this community. So you could imagine how I felt when I found out that you told grandma and grandma told mom. And, you know, I mean, just really have an honest conversation with him. And I think it'll make you feel better. And I think it will add closure to what you're dealing with and how you've been holding it because it's just not good and no you're right you're right to feel this way you're right to feel like you've been violated and you're right to feel like you're it's like it's yours you know I, I can't explain it better than that that this is your story this is part of you and you have every right to be upset when someone else takes that and tells people and just tells whoever they want because it's not theirs to tell. So I wish there was some way that we could explain this to people when we come out to them and we're not out to everyone to be like, look, I am, I am telling you and I'm telling specifically you for a reason. And if I wanted so-and-so to know, I would tell him, but I don't. So keep your mouth shut. 
I don't know. I don't know what the magical answer is. If you don't give people the permission to tell the story, they shouldn't be telling it. Does that make sense? I wish I could add something more or something different than the rest of the group, but I think ultimately no matter what you're carrying around, if you're carrying it around for seven years, it deserves not to be carried anymore. It just doesn't. So speak to him. Speak to him and do it do it honestly and do it caringly because he is family and you don't get to choose your family. So that's that's my advice there. So I, I will see you all next week. Hopefully a little bit less exhausted. AJ, please send that coffee. Please. I'm hurting. I'm hurting here. Bye, guys.